Hello there, this is I'm Mario of OpenVPN Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up AWS with your OpenVPN Access Server and how to launch an instance in AWS. So, to begin, we're going to head over to the Access Server portal login. The link will be in the description below, and we're going to go ahead and log in with our credentials. Okay. And now that we are logged in, we are going to scroll over to the left hand side of the screen and we're going to click get access server. So once you click that tab, it should look similar to this page. We're going to scroll down to as a cloud image and we're going to select AWS. So from here, we're going to use option two, which is going to navigate us directly to the AWS marketplace. Okay. And here is going to show all of the available products. Um, that we offer on AWS. And we're going to go ahead and click the first one here, Open VPN Access Server. And from here, you're going to get a product overview. And we're going to go ahead and hit continue to subscribe. Okay, so once you click that, we're going to see a page similar to this, which is going to prompt you to log in. Um, if you do not have an AWS account, you will click here, create a new AWS account, and go ahead and log in from there. Uh, me, I already have an account, so I'm just going to go ahead and click next. And we're going to go ahead and log in like so. Okay. And from here, it's going to ask us to subscribe to the software. Um, it's going to give you terms of conditions and we're going to go ahead and hit continue to configuration. Okay. And from here, it's going to tell us to configure the software. Um, we are going to change our region, um, to today. I think we're going to go to Canada. We're going to go ahead and connect to Canada today. I am on the east coast of the United States, so this is pretty far away from me. And we're going to hit continue to launch. Um, from here, we're going to choose an action and you could either launch from the website, launch through EC2. And I'm going to choose to launch through EC2 today. So we're going to go ahead and hit launch. Okay, from here, it's going to tell us to launch an instance. It's going to ask us to give the instance a name. So I'm going to go ahead and name it open VPN for the sake of this video. Okay. We're going to scroll down. All right. Instance type. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to use the free tier, which is going to be T micro. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And that should be fine for most users. If you're having a simple setup with 10 users, CPU and RAM is typically not a problem. As long as you have at least one gigabyte of RAM or one or two CPUs, you should be fine for this use case. So this should be fine for most people. But I just want to give you guys a little disclaimer out there. Okay. And from here, we're going to go to key pair login and we're going to go ahead and create a new key pair. If you already have a key pair, you would just select yours from here. I do already have one, but for the sake of this video, we're going to create a new one. So from here, we're going to give the key pair a name. I'm going to name it open VPN key. Uh, we're going to choose our key pair type. I'm going to leave that default. And from here we could choose our private key format and I'm going to use putty. If you're using open SSH, uh, more for like Linux users, you would use um, this one. So we're going to use PPK though for putty. Okay. From here, we're going to leave the network settings all default configure storage. We're going to leave that default as well. And we're going to go ahead and hit launch instance. It did save our private key as well. Okay. So our instance is launching. Okay. Instance has successfully been launched. So from here, I want to see my instances. So we're going to hit view all instances at the bottom of the screen, bottom, right. Okay. And from here we can see our new instance is currently pending. So we're going to go ahead and click it and okay. It is running. We have our private IP address, our public DNS address, our private DNS address and our public IP address. Perfect. Okay, cool. So from here, we're going to go ahead and launch this instance fully. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. I want to connect to the instance. Okay. And 
and we're gonna connect with root. Okay, so we're establishing connection right now. And from here, we're going to accept the terms of agreement. And now we're just gonna use enter, which is gonna keep everything default unless you want to change things. But for most users, I'm gonna say default should be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit enter, enter. From here, we're gonna type a password. Make sure you use a special character in your password or it will not work. And it also must contain a digit as well. So a digit and a special character. Okay, it's gonna ask you to confirm your password like so. Okay, all right, and boom. So from here, it should give you a link to log into the admin portal. And here it is. So here's the link to our Access Server admin portal. So we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste this into our browser, like so. Okay, and from here, we're gonna go ahead and log in. Our username is OpenVPN, and this will be the password that you just created. From here, we're gonna to agree to the terms of service. Okay, and so now we're gonna activate our subscription. So as you guys know, with OpenVPN as a server, you do get two free subscriptions. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that. I'm gonna show you guys how. You're gonna click get activation key. It's gonna take you to a screen similar to this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit use subscription. Okay, and we're gonna choose our two free subscriptions. So now that we activated our two free subscriptions, we're gonna take our subscription key and we're gonna navigate back over to the admin access server panel. So to get there, that is gonna be your IP address slash admin. Okay, so now that we're back on that page, we're going to paste our activation key here. We're going to select activate. And we're going to activate our two free subscriptions. Okay, so now that our subscription is active, we're gonna go ahead and download the OpenVPN Connect app. I'm gonna have a link down in the description below to that. Okay, and so now once that's downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open it like so. And you should see something similar to this. It's gonna tell you to import a profile. So to do so, you have two options. You have the option to do it via URL, and you have the option to do it via file. So I'm gonna show you how to do both, um, which the URL method to do so, we're gonna do that as if we were sending the URL to a secondary user um, to set up. Okay, so we're gonna go over here to user management user profiles. Okay, so now that we're on the user profile page, we're gonna hit new profile, we're gonna hit create profile, and we're gonna go open, open VPN connect, we're gonna go to import profile, we're gonna go to file, and we're gonna browse and select that new profile that we just created. So we're gonna go ahead and hit connect, it's gonna access for password. Okay. Alrighty, so we are connected. So now let's go ahead and confirm that our connection was successful. As you guys do recall earlier in the video, I was trying to connect to Canada. So let's see if that worked out for us. Okay, and our IP address is the same as our server IP. And let's see where our location is. Our location is in Canada. So it does indeed work. We are officially connected successfully. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to add a additional user as well. Okay, so okay, so we successfully connected ourselves to the server, and now we want to create a secondary user and get them connected as well. So to do so, we're gonna head back to the admin portal, and we are going to click user permissions. Okay, and from here, we're gonna type a new username. So we're gonna name this user John Doe. 
Okay, and from here we're going to hit more settings. It has a pin icon like so. And we are going to set a password for John Doe. Okay, and we're going to hit save settings. Okay, and from there we are going to hit update running server. Okay, and now our John Doe user is now active and we are going to go ahead and log in as John Doe. So to do so, we're going to send our URL, which is going to be our same URL as the admin portal. However, we're going to leave out admin, so it's going to just be HTTPS um, slash our IP address. So we're going to go ahead and email that to John Doe. Okay, so now John Doe is going to navigate to the link that we sent him. And he is going to be greeted with a page that looks similar to this. So from here, John Doe is going to log in with the username and password that we created for him a moment ago. So we're going to go ahead and log in as John Doe. I do believe this is case sensitive as well. So make sure you guys check your um, capitalizations. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and sign in. And from here, we are going to download the OpenVPN Connect for our recommended device, which in our case is going to be Windows. Okay, and we're going to go through the setup here like so, as if we were a new user. I agree. Install. Okay, so that is currently installing. And from there, we're going to be greeted to a page like this. We're going to go ahead and hit get started. Agree to the terms of agreement. Agree. And from here, we're going to see our secondary user, John Doe, bundled. So we're going to go ahead and connect. We're going to use the password that we created for our secondary user. We're going to press OK. And voila, we are officially connected as John Doe. And the process is the same if you guys wanted to add another user um, as adding John Doe. And so from here, we're going to just go ahead and confirm. That. And as you see, my IP address is the same as the server. And as you see, our location is in Canada. So it does work. I do appreciate you guys for watching.